Hello everyone, my name is Christine. In this video, I will teach you how to edit and publish text on the internet by using Google Drive. If you really need to use a text editor and advanced text processing options are not needed, Google Drive can be a great tool. The functions of the Google Drive program are very suitable for simple text editing. But for professional use the program might not be adequate enough. The program is not very exceptional with regard to its text editing features. But the online processing of data is spatial. Just like many other Google programs, Google Drive processes and stores your data online. And you can use the program wherever you have access to the internet. Your document is created on the internet and set to Google server. This kind of technique used by Google is called cloud computing. One of the great advantages is that you can use any computer to view and edit your documents. You can also share documents with others, which can come in handy when working in a group related project. In this video, the text editing functions will be discussed only briefly. The emphasis will be on the online processing of data. You will learn the following topics from this video. First, the video will teach you how to create and save a document. Then, you will learn how to create and use folders to store your documents. Second, if you want to share your documents to the public, you will learn how to create and save the public documents on Google Drive, and then share them with others. You also can export the documents that stored on the Google Drive to your computer. You will learn how to do that. Finally, you will learn how to use Google translations to translate text, documents, and web pages. I hope you will enjoy this video and learn a lot. Let's start it. Text editing with Google Drive. Unlike other well-known text editing programs, such as Microsoft Word, Google Drive does not require installation first. All the work is done online. This goes for the program as well as for the documents. To use Google Drive, you will need to sign in with your Google account. Step 1. Open Internet Experience. Explorer. Browse to www.google.com slash options. Then cl click Drive. In the right-hand side of the window, you have to type your email and password to sign in. By email, tap your Google account username. By password, tap your password.
Then click the button of sign in. You now see the Google Drive window. To create a new document, click Create button. Then click Document. Now an empty document will be opened in a new window. Most of the text editor icons are similar to those found in other well-known text editors and also in Gmail. Click on title document. Now you can rename the documents. Enter a new document name. Then click the button of OK. Now the, the document title is changed. Now you can type a short text start with member meeting. After you finish the text of the documents, you don't have to save the document because Google Drive will save the document automatically. Then close the windows. In this page, the document that you just edited is listed. To change the name of the documents, check the box next to the file of member meeting. Then click more and click rename. Type invitation. Then click the button of OK. Now you can see the name of the document is changed. You can create folders to organize your documents. Click Create button and click Folder. Then type the folder's name, Management, and click Create. Now you can see the new folder is created. If you want to See what folders and documents owned by yourself. You can click the More button at the left-hand side of the window and click Owner. Then click Owned by Me. You will see your folders and documents. Then drag the file of invitation to the folder of management.
then click the folder of management. You now can see the document in this folder. Just as in Gmail, the folder merely contains a link to the documents. The original document is stored in all items. If a document is important or still has to be dealt with, you can mark it with a star. In the document line, you can click the star next to the file name. The star will turn into a yellow star. In the start folder, you can find all the star documents. You can remove the star by click the star again. Now the star folder is empty. Uploading documents. You can also upload documents from your computer to Google Drive and edit them online. Click the button of Upload and click Files. Now you can choose a file for uploading. Now, I choose the file of exercise to upload, then open the file. Now the file is uploaded. You can see the status of the files. Also, in the page, you can see the new uploaded file is listed. If you, will, if you want to upload more files, click the Upload buttons and click Files. You can choose multiple files at the same time. Then click Open. Now you can see that these two files are uploaded at the same time. First, you will see the management folder. The exercise document has not been stored in this folder, so you will not find the file there. To view the document, click All Items. Here, you will see all documents and folders in your Google Drive. When you return to the page of Google Drive, you can see the COVID document is listed. The access rights of the documents determine whether or not you can edit a shared document. If you are allowed to edit the document, you will be able to use all text editing options and you will be able to save the edited documents so others can read your authored text. In the next section, you will learn how to assign these access rights to your own documents.
you will see a copy of the documents which you are now allowed to edit. You can go in to rename these documents. Click File and click Rename. Tap a new name for this file. Then click OK. You now see the new name on the top of the window. The Google Drive will save this document automatically. So close the window. When you return to the page of Google Drive, you can see the COVID document is listed. The access rights of the documents determine whether or not you can edit a shared document. If you are allowed to edit the document, you will be able to use all text editing options and you will be able to save the edited documents so others can read your author text. In the next section, you will learn how to assign these access rights to your own documents. You will see a copy of the documents which you are now allowed to edit. You can go in to rename these documents. Click File and click Rename. Tap a new name for this file. Then click OK. You now see the new name on the top of the window. The Google Drive will save this document automatically. So close the window. Sharing documents. In most cases, you will probably only want to share a document with a few colleagues or acquaintances. This is how you set up access privileges to your documents. Click My Drive. Then check the box next to the revised annual report and click the button of share. This window is for you to set the sharing settings. You can decide who can access the document. Click change. There are three different options for the sharing settings. The first is public on the web. It means that anyone on the web can find and access the documents. Users don't need to sign in. The second is anyone with the link. It means that anyone who has the link can access. Users also don't need to sign in. 
The last is private. It means that people who explicitly granted permission can access the documents. People need to sign in. Now I choose anyone with the link and click save. Then you can choose the people who can have the permission to access the document by entering names or email address. Tap the email address. Then click the desired access level for this address. Check the box next to the send a copy to myself. Finally, click the button of share and save. You will see an overview of all the invites. All pe people listed under who has access will receive an invitation by email. Click Done. Downloading documents to your computer. All the documents are saved online. If you want to save a document on your own computer, you will need to download it. First, you select the document. Uncheck the box next to the Revised Annual Report. Check the box next to the file of exercise. You also can choose multiple files. Then click More button and click Download. Now you select the desired file format, for example, PDF. At the bottom of the window, click Download. Then click Save. If you want, you can change the document's name or select a different folder for storage. Click Save. Now the document will be downloaded when the downloading process is finished. So the document has been stored to your hard disk. For each document, you can tell who the owner is and whether the document is shared. You are the owner of Revised Annual Report and you share this document with others. The exercise document is not shared. That is why you are the owner. The invitation file 
is stored in the management folder, and is not shared. Translations. For a long time, people have desired a program that would be able to translate text automatically. But a language is not a logical thing, and words often have multiple meanings, which makes automatic translation difficult. Google Translate allows you to translate text from and to a large number of languages. Even Google Translate will make mistakes. The translated text generated by this program should be treated as a draft version. You will still need to make final corrections to the text yourself. First, click More. And click translate. You will you now see the Google Translate window. Tap invitation. By default. Google Translate will detect the language that you insert. In this case, the detected language is English. If you want to translate from English to Spanish, click the Spanish button. Now, Google Translate will translate the text from English to Spanish. Or click the button on the top of the web page. Click the translate. You will see the translation from English to Spanish. In the translation result, you will see some alternatives as well. The correct translation will depend on the meaning of the text. You can translate more than a single word. You can do a full web page or document that is stored on your computer. You can also switch to a different language. Type www.visualsteps.com. And click French. Then click German and click Translate. Now you will see the translation of the web page. If you know how to read German, you will see that the translation contains a few errors. Click the back button. The text has not been fully translated. A logo or banner is very often an image. Text in an image cannot be translated.
You can also listen to pronunciation. Tap exercise. And click German. Now click the Spanish. You will see the English to set Spanish translation. Click the Listen. Button. Ejercer. This button next to the listen can be used to show example usage of words. There are a lot of example usage. The last button is read translation. You can give the rate to the translation result. Translating with the help of a translation program is far from for less, but such a program can provide you with a rough outline of the translation. And afterwards, you can improve the translation manually. Often, this will save you time and you will not need to look up all the words you do not know.